गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मनोज शर्मा सो नाउ वी विल स्टडी द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन रिप्रोडक्शन द टॉपिक इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन ह्यूमन्स ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन इन्वॉल्व टू सेक्सेस वन इज मेल अदर इज फीमेल फर्टिलाइजेशन इज इंटरनल मीन्स द स्पर्म एंड ओवा विल फ्यूज इन साइड द फीमेल बॉडी एंड after fusion of sperm and ova zygote is formed and this development of zygote into a fully formed individual this whole phenomena will also taken place inside the body of the female now what is puberty the onset of sexual maturity occurs in the boys at the age of 11 to 16 years and in girls at the age of 11 to 15 years is known as puberty it's a biological changes occurs due to hormonal change changes puberty in boys in boys so many characters will change the boys become deeper growth of hair on the face and body broadening of shoulders development of muscles development of sex organs in girls puberty in girls in girls development of breast deposition of fats in hip parts one set of menstrual cycle development of sex organs these all the characters will change will take place in the boys as well as in girls at the time of puberty male reproductive system in human male reproductive system what the sexual organs are there these are shown in the diagram one side it is a male reproductive system other side it's a male gamete or you can say human sperm human sperm has three part head middle piece and tail so we know that there is a one pouch like structure that is called scrotum or scrotal sac inside this pouch like structure testis are present from the testis one pipe called vessa deferens it will take the sperm and then this sperm will go to to the urethra and through urethra they will just move to the male part penis and from this penis they will just transfer to the females reproductive part which is called vagina this testis will release a hormone the name is testosterone and because of this testosterone all the male characters are there so this was all about male reproductive system now female reproductive system in female there are two parts these are called ovaries the ovaries are connected to fallopian tube or oviduct and these fallopian tube or oviduct will just open into a bag like structure called uterus in this uterus this baby will grow for 9 months this 9th month period is called as gestation period this long tube like structure is called vagina the female vagina of female will get the sperm from the male vagina of the female will get the sperm from the male in this and this vagina will pass the sperm to the uterus and from ovary side the ova or egg will come and fuse with the sperm and then zygote is formed the release of ova from ovary is called ovulation so this ovary will release two female hormone called estrogen estrogen and progesterone so this sperm from the male which will just move from vagina to uterus and then this ova from ovary they both will unite to form zygote this process is called as internal fertilization and this zygote will implant itself to the membrane of uterus that is called implantation if the ova ova will not fertilize by the sperm then this whole membrane of uterus will shed out will rupture and this blood will be released from the female body this release of blood is called as the menstruation this was the fertilization 
if the ovum is not fertilized by the sperm it is expelled from the uterus along with some uterine muscle and blood this is known as menstruation so formation of ovum inside the ovary releasing of ovum from ovary and expelling out of ovum with blood and uterine muscle is a cycle of 20 days known as menstrual cycle so the development of embryo we will do in the third part thank you